Real quick, before the video begins, I just want to say that you can find the dream address for my town below, and you can also find the design codes for the paths that I used in the description down below as well. Hope you guys enjoy the video, thank you for watching! Hello world and all who inhabit it, my name is Minish May, and welcome to my island tour! This video has definitely been one that has been in the making for a long, long time. I wouldn't say, like, I've been working on editing for a long time, but I've been definitely planning my island for well over a year. I knew that I wanted to go for something cottagecore themed since the beginning, and it took a long time to get everything that I needed, but I am so happy with this island. You guys have no idea. I am so proud of it. But before we get on with the tour, let me pull up my island map so you can see how it looks. I'm so proud of it. It looks so good. <laughs> ah! And it's called Lothlorien, which is supposed to be a reference to Lord of the Rings, one of the elvish cities. And I was gonna make um, another player character. Her name was gonna be Gladriel, who was gonna be like the ruler or whatever. But that's fine. It's all fine. It's good. It's good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Anyways, before we get started, let me go over the residents real quick. We have May, who was supposed to be me. Anka, Eric, Maple, Rodeo, Rosie, and Haldir, which are two player characters, and I'll go over them shortly. Lucky, Shino, who I just invited to the island today, and I, I love her so much. She's so pretty. I didn't think she was going to be a peppy villager, but I still like her. And then we have Drago, Fauna, Coco, who is my absolute favorite villager. She has been since, like, New Leaf days, and I love her so much. And then we have Kiki. And... I, I had spent so much time trying to get this roster the way that I wanted it. Like, I kept switching in villagers, didn't know who I wanted, didn't know who I wanted to keep. But I think I've got a pretty solid resident list now, and I'm pretty happy with it. Also, these characters all have a story that goes with them. And, yes, I'm that kind of person who has to make a story with their stupid Animal Crossing town. <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. And I like each and every one of their stories. I don't know where I was going with that. Anyways, <laughs> before we get started, let me go over that too. May is the island rep, and she came here with two residents who are no longer here, but that is totally fine. She devotes all of her time to making Lothlorien the best it can be, and she works hard with Isabel and Tom Nook to make that happen. And then we have Rosie. She's the farmer who lives on the island, and all of the food that she grows supports all of the residents on the island. It's honestly kind of rough work, but you know what? It is honest work, and she really enjoys it. And then my favorite of the player characters, Haldir. He used to be a sentient pumpkin. If you, if you need a reference, just think of uh, the pumpkin creature from Steven Universe. But one day, he crossed a witch, and the witch really became upset. And so she cursed him to work in an inn. Think like Studio Ghibli Spirited Away, stuff like that. And joke's on her because he likes having legs and he likes tricking people at his inn. And we'll eventually be able to see their houses and whatnot. But anyways, b uh, enough talking. Let's get on with this. We'll head over this way first. And I'll, I'll be sure to show all of the small, uh, the little designy thingy things that I did. Like this apple orchard. It's, it's just the small things that make me so happy and proud of this island, man. And I even have Jacob's Ladder starting. I didn't even think I was at a five star because of all of the weeds. But yeah, we got the little orchard here. And then down here, actually I can use my ladder. If I can remember how to play the damn game. We go down here and we have the little, what, what, what would you call this? Like a, a farmer's market? Yeah, like an, an apple orchard farm area. I like it, I think it's cute. Then if you walk down here, this is like one of the newer parts of the island that I worked on. It's just like a little beach area. It's nothing too fancy. I'm happy with it though. Oh, there's another present in the background floating. Look at that. It's, it's, it's photobombing me. Yeah, it's, 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 it's humble. And then a little cabin area. Again, kind of humble, but I like it. And then up here, little picnic area. Another, like, little sitting area. And then up here, the only part of the beach that I really bothered to deal with. Oh, I thought that was a shark for a second. A little lighthouse bit. And then we'll go back this way. Actually, this way. Go back. 
over here. Hoppity hop. If we come up this way, it'll take us towards the residential area of my island, as well as Rosie's house. We'll go up here first. This was also like one of the uh, first areas that I designed. Hi, Eric. What you gotta say? Huh? It's been a while since we've talked- Oh no, I'm so sorry, Eric! I- because I work so often, I haven't been able to like hop on and talk to them, really. I've just kind of been focusing on making the island. Because I really wanted to get this video out before Shining Pearl. I've been having a lot of weird dreams lately. Maybe my jar of- what the fuck is that? The shoy? Finally went bad? Don't know why. I keep it in a warm, damp place anyway. In my dreams, we talked every night. Sometimes you had two heads. So, I'm betting that right now is real. I'm sorry, Eric. <gasps> Look at Lucky and Anka! They zoom in! This is Maple's house. <gasps> oh! Hello! Hey, May! I found this epic relax spot during my walk, so I'm taking a break. I love you so much. And I think, is this Shino's house? I still haven't seen the inside of her house. And then we have the, uh, <clears throat> the infamous yellow house. Listen, listen, she, she, does what she does what she wants. Okay, she does what she wants. Let's actually, no, I don't want to shovel up anything. My, my, my controller is a little bit wonky. Oh, hi, Julie. Hello. Hey, May. Thanks for saying hi. What's the latest? What are you doing? I might copy you. I could be May Junior for the day. Do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Oh, Leaf is here today. Hello! Well, if it isn't Hun... Yeah, she called me Hun. There are things you want to do and things you have to do, but don't forget to do nothing now and then. Anka, you're, you're the best, okay? Like, we, we love her and we we don't kink shame in this island okay guys just let her vibe let her do her thing i'm proud of her small bit that this fucking present photo bombing again <laughs> anyways if we continue up over here i'll show you guys rosie's house so fun fact i made her uh i made her little farm area here before the vegetables were released and i literally had to get rid of uh a ton of like various decoration items that I had to make way for the vegetables and I think it looks so much cooler now anyways let's go check out her house again it's kind of humble but I'm actually really proud of this house it's it's small and it's nice but y you know what I think the simple the better the more simple the better in some cases and it just it just makes me feel so good to see this house. I, I, I can't explain it. It's just nice. It's homey. This this back room I'm not really too proud of, but I'll show it off anyway. It's supposed to be like a little rodeo. <laughs> Wait, can I sit on this? Nope, but it bobbles back and forth. It's it's supposed to be like a little pasture for her horses. And listen, I had to make do with what I had. Don't don't bother with the springy springs. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's nice. I spent more money than I would like to say on the wallpaper. But that's okay. Everything's fine. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. And now that we are outside, actually, if you climb up these vines right here, she has a little pumpkin patch up here. When the uh when the, the Halloween update came out last year, I needed to find a place to put all my pumpkins, so I'm like, you know what? Raise up the land, we're doing this. And then there's a little, like, I guess storage area down here for her. It's nice. It's, it's, it's cluttered, but it's a nice kind of cluttered. Such is the way of Animal Crossing decorating. Up and around here, we have more residential area. Hi, Fauna. We just keep running into each other today, dearie. Oh, that reminds me. Leaf is in town today, dearie. There's a certain type of flower I've been wanting to add to my garden, but it's a bit persnickety. I'm hoping he can give me a little green thumb advice. Guidance. I, I can read. Is Coco home? No, she's not. Maybe we'll see her out and about. I wanted to get this recorded during the day when it was like sunny and nice, but it's not sunny and nice in the game and it's kind of sad. This is a little area where you can sit and tell ghost stories by the fire, and you can get all spooky and shit. <laughs> and 
it's 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 cozy i like it and there's there's a little beware sign keep out because you gotta add to the spooky factor a little jumpity jump hi rodeo what you thinking i was just trying to decide what to play next hey may you want to play a treasure hunting game Sh sure sounds fun yay i'm gonna bury the treasure somewhere on the island wait wait huh what Wait, I've never played this before. What the hell? Okay, so the rules are real simple. If you can find the treasure I buried before the time runs out, then you win! The treasure's buried in the dirt, so don't go indoors. Folks get mad when you try to dig in their floors! Okay, ready to hunt? Oh, no. Oh, shit. This isn't good. Hold on, I'm gonna go and find it, and I'll be right- What the fuck is this? Wait, is it right here? If this is it, I'm gonna cry. Nope, it's a fossil. Alright, I'm gonna go and hunt for this and I'll be right back and we'll continue our video after this interruption rodeo. What the hell was that? Okay, I found it. Gucci! Oh, do I have to go back to rodeo? Okay, back to rodeo I go. Hello, hello. Wow, May, you're really good at hunting for treasure. Here, if you hand me the box, I can open it. Let's see what it is. Why, are, why is she running around with a duster? Cool, here we go, and the treasure is... Ta-da! Your very own combat helmet. Rodeo, are you trying to tell me something? Are you sending me off to the war? Whew, that was fun. Let's play again, May. Chaps. Okay, before I was so rudely interrupted. Let's head back to where we were. Alright, back up here we have a little crossroads area. Which, actually, I really like the design of this little hub area. It's nice. Did you just- Why does everyone Naruto run everywhere? Oh, up here is Drago's house. Hello, Drago. Oh, his house is so pretty. What do you think of my place? Make yourself comfy. I saw Haldir today. They looked like they were having more fun than a new bag of snacks. Aw, oh, that's so nice. We'll go and see Haldir's house as well. I'm actually really, really proud of his house. Um, so while we're out here exploring, I want to ask you guys. Do you play Animal Crossing? And if you do, what kind of vibe are you going for on your island? Are you just playing to play? Because I know some people go crazy with designing it, but other people just play, they catch fish, they try to complete everything. Are you a completionist? Are you a decorator? Are you just vibing? <laughs> I'm gonna try to do like these little community questions every so often, and especially in my series, like it, it'll, it'll just it, it provide engagement, and I kind of want to do that from now on. So yeah, if you just go into the comments below and we'll have a conversation and it'll be it'll be swell. But anyways, on with the the rest of the tour so this video doesn't take a million years. This is Kiki's house. Lucky's house. And wait, who the fuck lives here? Maple? Eric. Okay, gotcha. So fun story, fun fact. Where Eric lives? Way up here. That used to be the home of Raymond, and I sold him on Nukazan, which I know is like incredibly sketchy and you should really be careful when trading villagers on there, but I decided to do it, and I actually didn't get scammed, and the person that bought him was incredibly nice, and it, it worked out. They got Raymond, and they gave me a fair sum of money, which was more than I had actually asked for. And they also gave me some Nook Mile tickets in the form of presents, and they were really, really nice. I'm so glad that Raymond didn't get voided, and he's actually going off to a good home. It makes me happy. But anyways, if you come back down here from resident services, it'll take you all the way back here to the airport, which is nice. It's, like, close enough to resident services. And then if we come down here through this long, winding path, which I actually really like, it'll take us up here. And we have Tom Nook's store. A little sitting area over here with the automatic bell dispenser. Kinda nice. The ADD. Oh no, am I stuck? Oh no, am I stuck? 
There we go. Okay. I got scared for a second. And then over here, we have a nice little seating area where we can overlook everything. And I got- oh, that's such a nice view. I didn't even realize until now. That's a really good view. And then we have like a bunch of mushrooms around here. Gotta go with that nice cottage core aesthetic. <laughs> also, um, while we're going along here, I can talk about the pads. I'll have the uh, codes for the pads down below in the description, as well as my dream address if you guys want to visit. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to use these pads, be sure to check out the original creators because they are fantastic. And you can you can use them, and yeah, it'll it'll be great. I don't know why I'm rambling. <laughs> Anyways, up here we have the museum, and I think it's fairly nice. I, I actually didn't know where I was going to put the museum for uh, the longest time, because when I was building my island, I had the residential area like all over here all sorted out. I know you can't really tell where I'm pointing, but where all of the houses are. I had all of that all sorted out, but on the other side, I didn't know what I was going to do over there, and I was running out of like big spots of land to where I could put the shops and things, but I think it actually worked out really nicely and it gave me a chance to use this little log design as well. If we go down here, little little beachfront area, still have to design the beaches. I was clearing them of flowers earlier. I also went to the islands and I got this glowing moss. It's so nice. I love it so much. Over here, we got nothing like all that special. Just a little, a little fire pit. I gotta add more over here, honestly. And up and over here. Actually, if you hop over here, there's a little fairy ring with the, uh, what do you call it? The warp pipe? And it'll take you over to where Rodeo and Drago's house is. So that's kind of nice. Yeah. doesn't really fit the aesthetic, but it's always nice to have a fast travel option for me if I need it. Also, these mushroom lamps are literally the best item in the game. I love them so much, and I may or may not have paid an insane amount of Nook Mile tickets for them. For the DIY, I mean. Anyways, here we are at Haldir's uh, little area. Like I said in the intro, he's uh, a hot spring owner, like an inn. And I decided to decorate the outside- oh my god, it's like really laggy over here, I forgot to mention that. But I decided to decorate the outside of his house with like a sauna, a little hot spring area, some of the, uh, the Hello Kitty, like, Kuropi items. I actually quite like this area a lot. And also, I don't know if this is a new item or what, but it just popped into my store and I absolutely love it. So I decided to throw it up next to Haldir's house because it looked amazing. Anyways, let's go check out his inn. This front room, I am so happy with. Like, it came out exactly how I wanted it to. The music fits, the whole vibe is amazing, and he can come over here and he can be like, hello, welcome to my inn. <laughs> oh, it's great, it's great. Hello! <laughs> Um, with the, the, the kitchen over here isn't really complete, but I'll show it off anyways. I won't show off the upstairs because it's like just a blank room. It's kind of basic. It still needs a lot of work done, but I like how it is. I like the little karupi snack right there and the food. It's nice. It's nice. I gotta make it busy because busy equals nice. <laughs> and then if we go up here... This is the other room that's like super completed, and I actually really like it a lot. It's a little bathroom area, like a like a spa. And what I liked about this is there's like a flooring, I think it's called like the cloud flooring, and it'll have like the mist at the bottom. And if you throw like little rugs across the carpet, it'll make it look like there's steam in the room, which is the coolest thing ever. I think I saw a couple videos on it. If I can find it, I'll be sure to put it in the link for you guys. But ugh, this this room is so nice and cozy and I love it so much. Ugh, I fucking love Haldir's house. It's so nice. Don't mind me gushing. <laughs> 
Now you can see why I wanted to do a tour on this. I'm literally so proud of this island, it's insane. And then over here is a little room to sleep. What is the music? Is this King KK? Yeah, it is King KK. And I put like the little manga artist drawings up there, the souvenirs. I like it. It's it's nice. It's humble. I wish that the other like player characters would like just walk around their homes and their areas. That'd be kind of nice. I mean, they don't really have to say anything. You could just talk to them and they'd say like the comment on their passport. That'd be nice. All right, last house before we explore the rest of the island. Over here, once we get out of the laggy hell that is Haldir's area. So, before we go up here, this was one of the first areas of my island that I started to terraform. And I'm really happy with the outcome. I'll go slow so we can admire it. And there's like mushrooms everywhere. It's so nice. My house has a little bit of an update look, updated look since the new update came out. Where you can design the exteriors. It's pretty. It's nice. I really gotta update my, like, main room, living room area, but it's cozy. I like it. I especially like this little nook and cranny over here. Also, I got my little gyroid buddies up there. Can't really see them, but... They're bopping. They're bopping the steel cupcakes. Over here is, like, one of my favorite rooms. It's my kitchen! And KK, what is it? KK City? City KK? Animal City! Animal City is playing. That was like my most played Animal Crossing for the longest time. City Folk was literally my favorite game. I played it all the time. I visited people's cities, or cities, I visited people's towns. I may or may not have uh, stole a few rainbow feathers from someone my fucking remote! Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, it's City Folk and New Leaf are my most played Animal Crossing games, and this song makes me so nostalgic. It's it's so nice. It's so great. But yeah, this kitchen, I love it. 10 out of 10. Continuing on. I'm not good at this. I'm not good at improv. I can only do Let's Plays. <laughs> We're not gonna show the top room because it's like literally not done yet. Or, or yeah, the, 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 the room over here and then the upstairs room we're not gonna show off, but I'll show the basement because this is another completed room that I like a lot. Oh, look at the little gyroid. I forgot he was down here. And a little, uh, what, what would you call this? Like a little painting thingy? I like- oh, canvas? Is that what- yeah, it's a fucking canvas. And look, it's where I record my videos and draw my shit, guys. Isn't it nice? Got a little switch area over here. Sit down and summon some demons. I mean, play d and I don't even play D&D. But you know, it's- it's all for the- It's all for the stuff. For the- Do it for the vine. <laughs> Got my switch here. I love it. It's so nice. This is like my favorite room. This and my kitchen. Favorite rooms. And then last room is the bathroom, which, uh, my bathroom used to look how Haldir's bathroom looks, but I imported all of my items over to his, uh, house. And instead I made this. I like it. It's nice and cozy. As is everything on this island, as I've been saying, because I don't know how to make a video at all, apparently. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's cool, it's cool. Whoa, don't, don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> and if we continue back over here into laggy hell on earth. Why is it so laggy, holy shit. We come over here and up around here. Actually, I think this might have been the first area that I designed. Because this is where I put like the bulk 
of my mushroom items. You can you can see that I really went to town over here. Hello? Okay, I was getting stopped by the mushroom. There's a little there's a little log bench up here, and you can just stare out to sea and take it all in. And then oh, down here we got a like a little foresty area. I put the log path down here again. And if we go back up this way, up here we have Abel Sisters. I actually really like the location I have for this shop. It looks super cozy and nice. And then over here, last but not least, we get a view of the full moon. And you guys have no idea how long that took how long it took me to get this moon. It was insane. Insanity. But yeah, I think that's like pretty much it for my island. I mean, not a super long video. But that's okay. I really- I've had so much time to develop this island and it's still not fully done, but I'm really proud of it. And I'll say it a million times, but I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> can, can you tell? I, I haven't recorded in like three weeks and I think it's really starting to get to me. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about anymore. But yeah, Animal Crossing has been a fucking stress relief for me, and I'm glad that it came when it did. It literally came at the beginning of COVID, and it literally couldn't have chose a better time to come, honestly. Why isn't my camera working? Okay, there we go. But yeah, that's that's Lothlorien. Oh, that's Lothlorien. And I guess I'll see you guys when Shining Pearl comes out. Sorry if I was a little all over the place in this episode. This, this episode? What am I saying? <laughs> Sorry if I'm all over the place in general. I don't know what the hell I'm doing apparently. I don't know how to speak. I don't know how to talk. All I know is Animal Crossing is on the brain and I had fun recording this. I had fun making it and I had fun decorating my island as well and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyways, I will see you guys in a couple of days with Shining Pearl. See ya!